Hey there, good morning everybody. We are social distancing today. A little place down in southern Illinois. Uh, once upon a time I used to come, come down here with a buddy and camp and fish for days on end. Usually in May, cat chasing after bluegills. A good week. We'd spend a week down here and a good week would be, uh, we'd see maybe two or three boats the entire time we were here. So I can't, I can't think of a better spot to do some social distancing in. So uh, we're gonna try to get after some crappie today though. Uh, bluegill have gotten a little small here in recent years. They put some limits on it and stuff, but uh, we're in the Crab Orchard National Wildlife Refuge right outside of Marion, Illinois. Little 10 horsepower restricted lake. And if you can see in the background here, there's a good reason for a 10 power, 10 horsepower restriction. <laughs> there's stumps galore. And the lake's actually down. Usually those stumps are right at the water line, but the lake appears to be a little bit down, which I'm not sure why. Shouldn't be with the recent rain and stuff we've had but I don't know and I don't think they do uh, like drawdowns here or anything because this isn't uh, like a watershed management or anything Corps of Engineers so interesting thing about this lake is that you see all these stumps what you think are stumps out here anyway and upon closer inspection <clears throat> they're actually treetops this lake is super deep and super clear and they actually have a, a, a reproducing trout population here as well. Never know, we might trip over one today. Near the bank, I'm sitting in nine foot of water. You get out here in the center of this little pocket and you're probably in 40 feet of water and you're still in the stumps because they're, they're treetops. Uh, there's places in this lake you're in 80, 80 feet of water and you're still still in uh, still in those treetops really cool place kind of isolated place doesn't get a lot of uh, traffic and I don't mind that a bit and we had a big cold front come through <clears throat> today's fr good Friday and Wednesday <clears throat> temp got up to 90 degrees here <clears throat> And needless to say, the overnight low last night <laughs> overnight low last night was uh, 30. Got down 30, 30 degrees last night. Surface temp is 57. That may be, yeah, it's not actually too bad. So I tried out a little minnow and bobber fishing with no luck. Casting jigs, nothing really but one dink. I tried vertical jigging and caught one nice fish on a Heber, Texas fishing lure thumping blurple. Caught three fish overall at this lake and decided to move on a little closer to home. So I stopped in at the second lake on the way home, did a little spider rigging, it was slow. Caught one nice female and several more after the cameras died, as well as one fish casting jigs. Overall I think the cold front had them in a little bit of a funk and action was pretty slow. 
So I only caught six fish on the day, but I decided to try a new way of cooking them, at least for me. I was planning on smoking a brisket for Easter, so I decided while I had the smoker going, I would try some smoked crappie on the half, half shell. <clears throat> I seasoned them with a little Tony Chachery's seasoning and cooked them with the skin and scales on. Check out the Backwoods Gourmet channel for his recipe. Kind of went with that. Needless to say, I will be doing that again. Yum! Please consider subscribing to the channel. We have a great giveaway going on and there's still time to get in on it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, don't forget to check out our friends at my724outdoors.com on the web and Facebook. And check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. Also, coming soon, panfishguy.com. Hey, knock it off!